Okay. Let's close that then. What's happening over here? Well, I'm Nancy Lyman's fire from Fire Ring Farm, and this is my good friend. I'm Kamora Harrington from the KCC, and I'm learning the thing or three. And we just walked here, and this is mugwort. And it's it's got white on the back. That's how you identify it. Okay. It's also called, I think, false chrysanthemum, but I may be wrong on that. Don't. Anyway, you can make, it's really good for a lot of herbal things, but you can also make it into smudge sticks. And um, you can combine it with other herbs and sage. Um, white sage is really hard to find right mm. now, mm -hmm. um, mainly because of the environmental changes of the world. Heat and cold. <laughs> climate change. No. Climate change. Okay. That thing. <laughs> that is real, right? It's okay, it's so y'all yeah. got that one. Okay. The climate change <laughs> is hard for the white sage. Got it. You can use this in your ceremonies. This, this much. Okay. There's also you can make a tea out of it, and I'll have to send you more information because it, it does more than just. Yeah, so I'm supposed to hang out here and our volunteers and such and there's everyone who's already So anyways, this area over here is depending on your tradition, it's either my old lady space, my crone space, or my woman elder space. Again, depending yeah, on your yeah. tradition, but if you're old, if you have to pee like this, yes, that's a space for you. Okay. <laughs> it could also be a pregnant person space. It's, oh yeah, huh. The pregnant people gotta pee. Pregnant people. Oh, and just so folks know, we've got the porta potty and I am me, so with those weird places <laughs> where capitalism comes in, there's Charmin in there. I care, it's important. Men, male bodied people, whatever, you don't yeah. care. Us, got it, it's Charmin. <laughs> but anyway, so that is a beautiful place for old ladies, old women, yeah, yeah, crones, yeah. etc. to hang out. And there's a ton of mugwort hanging out over there. Yeah. So, like, Catherine, when you were here last week, Sister Nyaga, when we were here last week and we were just kind of hanging out, discussing what that volunteerism looks like, pick the mugwort, mm -hmm. we're gonna wrap it up, there's gonna be twine there, we are going to make the smudge sticks. The kids know they need to honor us anyway. Yes. So we will be the ones making these beautiful, as we are sitting around talking about the need to pee incredibly quickly, the desire to not <laughs> give a fuck about a goddamn thing, because this is what happens when you turn 50, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. As all of this wisdom conversation is happening, yeah. and hopefully the young people are out there toiling, because that's what they're supposed Toil to do. Toil over like, there. They've got young muscles and Because we got the compost that needs to go into the beds yeah. to plant the herbs. All that. Okay. So while they are over there toiling because that is their job, because that's what their bodies can do, we will be over here twining. Twining. And twining together, yeah. you know, lab and kind of bringing it together. Yeah, yeah. So that we'll have beautiful smudge sticks and those will be available. So I'm fucking loving this shit. Yeah, all right. Cool. Yeah. Anything to add? Well, we're no. Just, she wants yeah, to know. No, talk about what you're doing because both of you are kind of um, awesome. Not right now. Okay. Not right now. <laughs> but, uh, I'm so grateful. Do you need to share the herbs you've got? Yes. Oh, we're continuing? Yes. Okay. Car full of herbs. I'm so good And the tons of it. Like, do you see how much there yeah. is over in the corner? Yeah. Kimura wanted plantain. Okay. So I got her, I dug up plantain. But I also informed her. Here's the fun part. That. <laughs> she already had some. A lot. Uh, <laughs> A lot, a lot, a lot of plantain. Oh yeah, right here, like here. Plantain. And why? Why do we care? What's plantain do? Plantain um, is a green. It helps uh, your body. Plus, it's, uh, you make a salve, and it's great for. Um, it's a drawing. Mm -hmm. So if you get stung by It'll a bee suck or it out. a mosquito, you can take a leaf and you can chew it. And it's important that you chew it or the child chews it. Mm -hmm. That also distracts them from the pain. And you take that goob, goop, and you put it on the, mm -hmm. the hurt. And it'll draw out the sting. Mm -hmm. Well, even technically, I've not done this, but it'll draw out splinters. Oh, um, you told me that once, yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. Um, so plantain, you want to have plantain <laughs> oil and you want to have plantain salve cool. in your medicine kit. So she's so, got some from our from Firing Farm, and then already had them here at the KCC in Hartford. And I also see we're bringing them together. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this clover—that's the clover you wanted. Yep, is yeah, your red clover. 
This is your red clover. I'm pretty sure, but you cool. can't mow it down. No. No mowing. Don't mow over here. No. And it's also called, <laughs> it's also called bunny because here's its ears and this is its tail. It looks so cute. It's a little bunny. A little bunny. So you have clover here too. Okay. So this we're going to have to dig up and put over there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, but I know you want to keep it low. Yeah. But, um, anyway. Next. Next. That's exciting. Next. <laughs> Next herbs. This is calendula. Mm -hmm. And it'll get about this tall and it pushes out and it's uh, good for the skin and it has some other things, but it's in my brain. I can't tell it. That's okay. cool. However, you need to keep yeah, making yeah. the flowers. She makes Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. So Terry, so people who were here last year, um, Terry sold the really the whipped, very light, Ooh. really nice body butters. Okay. So the lavender is my absolute favorite. Yeah. There's probably, she's got quite a few of them. Oh yeah. And she's gonna be she is a budding herbologist and she's working with another young person who's yeah. a herbologist and they're going to be over here playing with these. So she's going to love yes. playing with them. And it's important to pick the blossoms off so it'll keep flowering. Mm -hmm. And then it'll flower clear into the fall um, mm -hmm. and then you let it uh, go to seed and you collect the seed and then you can plant the seed, transplant the seed, Close. not in, you know, in the spring. Yeah. Okay. So then, well in the fall I'm going to want you to come out again so we can talk about how to save the seeds. Okay. Well, we'll mm. come, I'll come, we'll, hopefully we can come out more than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is oregano. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. And you can make that into an oil. And it does, it's, there's a lot of kitchen, kitchen herbs that are also really good for you. And I didn't know I was giving a speech, so I didn't look up all the stuff that I could tell you. You're doing great, Mom. <laughs> this, now I hear you wanted creeping thyme. This yes. is English thyme, which That's is That's going to go over here. So the creeping thyme is going to go here. The English thyme is going to go in the boxes. Okay, now you want to here, set it. You want to set it down? It's also, awesome. let me know if you want to break. You want to, um, when you harvest it, you want to take it so that you're cutting at a, at, at a section where it separates. Okay. Okay, and that'll make it bush more. Okay. And you want to take it low. Don't just snip off the top because you're going to end up with woody stems mm -hmm. at the bottom so you want to come down and, and get a piece down low okay. so it'll push out see that's going to be important for me that's one where it just turns into like this weird emotional thing and i feel like if i cut it too far down then there's not going to be enough for it to grow so i want to leave cut like this so there's way more but again the weirdo well you stuff. could no time it takes if you come time, down you gotta work with it <laughs> see? Just enjoy it enjoy the time if you if, if you get out to pick some dig some clover Mm -hmm. um, I can show you how I kind of messed up my time, and I have this big woody pile. It's you know it's low, it's low, and then at the tips is all of this. This crap. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's mm -hmm. time. Yeah, there's a bunch in there too. Okay. Here we got lavender. Yeah. Oh, this. Okay. Yeah, I expect that lemon to be on my body next year. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You've got to really protect these. What are yarrow. Very seeds. Very it's good. And this is white yarrow. Okay. You want white yarrow. It's the most medicinal. Okay. Um, and most, most nurseries, if you go to it and want to buy yarrow, they say, well, you got to wait till, if you want white yarrow, you got to wait till it blooms and then we can divide out because we've got white and pink and green and mm -hmm. whatever. So I grew this from seed. So um, you want to baby these, but it'll, it'll get big. It'll be a nice, a nice bushy thing and you want the, the flower. Mm -hmm. okay. So let it grow, cut the flowers off yeah. and keep going. Yeah. So you have three yarrows. They're small. This you didn't ask for, but it is. But you, <laughs> well, you need it. See that? That's what I like. This is, this is echinacea. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. But I have to leave it. I have to come This is the mullen. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And I was explaining to Kamora that it's a biennial. Mm -hmm. So this is going to send up a stalk and flower. And you collect the flowers. You can also use the leaves. It's all for respiratory. And if you let the stalk stay and dry in, and I don't know the country or the olden days, <laughs> they would cut the stalk and they would dip it in wax and they would use them as torches. So yeah. in the like winter solstice, mm -hmm. you would light your torches. And it gets tall. I mean, yeah. they, they get big. Yeah. That's cool. um, that like and it'll also sell seeds. So, very funny. Well, that's why we're recording it. These little puffs in the fall, mm -hmm. and you're going to weed them out. Let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let them be. They're, they're this first generation, and they go through the winter. And then they become the big ones. Okay. But in the spring, when they're little, you can dig them up and move them out. And they look like that. They look little and furry when they come up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, it, uh, Kira and my daughter yeah. makes, she gets the leaves and makes little mullen mittens. Okay. Grabs them around her hands and like walks well, around. Well, they talk about. <laughs> no, it's comfy. Never mind. Well, comfrey's fuzzy like that too. Yeah. 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 But I was going to go off on. Comfrey? Yeah. <laughs> comfrey could blow. She's got the Charmin and the thing. Yeah. You know, so we. Can... Soft toilet paper is important. You gotta be like that now. We'll bring her comfrey know. next time. You need some comfrey. <laughs> okay. Because he, well, the comfrey is bone healing. So if you sprain That's yourself, a big deal. Yeah. you make a poultice mm -hmm. and, and um, put it on top. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. <laughs> this is Rutabecchia black eyed soup. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yep. And Where do you want these to live, Kamar? So we can move them over. Because those need a good amount of water, right? Yeah, well, all of these you're going to need to somehow deal with us. Yeah, the Take black eyed Susans, I want, so we've got a wet corner over there. Mm -hmm. So I want to put those over there because we've got like, what are those cattails? What do you call cattails for them? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can eat the cattails, you know that. Yep. Yeah, so those are over there. So I want to put the black eyed Susans in that area. Right now. Everything else is going to go with these. The mullen I want to get. Oh, this is gorgeous. What's that? Mm -hmm. This is your purple betten. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what you think it smells like. Nothing? No, oh, it has a little smell. Mm. Sorry, I just think it's so cool because people don't know this. In fact, I was just learning about that. What am I missing? We'll We're gonna learn. Okay. I got one for myself. So. After I post this, people can tell us what they know about bending. This yes. will be a community. <laughs> we don't have to know all the things. You don't have to know all the things, y'all. Right. But it's gonna be beautiful. That's the whole point. So if Both you want to, I need my things back. But if you want to yeah. carry, put them in here yeah. to carry them. Somewhere. We'll take a little pause. Oh no, we can just carry them because they're just.